Pharmaceutical Quality Control Presented by Bobin Analytical Quality Assurance Manager Or, Dusto, My, is Presentation Ka, Speaker Who, Dusto, is Presentation May, Pharma Industry, May Quality Control, K Bare, May, Bhattaya, Gaya Hai. Definition Quality control QC, is a procedure or set of procedures intended to ensure that a manufactured product or performed service adheres to a defined set of quality criteria or meets the requirements of the client or customer. Role of GMP in QC QC is the part of GMP concerned with sampling specification and testing, documentation and release, procedures, which ensure that the necessary and relevant tests are performed, and the product is released for use only, after ascertaining its quality. Quality Control General Principles Each holder of a manufacturing authorization should have a QC department. Independence from production and other departments is considered to be fundamental. Under the authority of an appropriately qualified and experienced person with one or several control laboratories at his or her disposal. If do not have any facility, it can be managed by appointed respective external laboratory institutions. Basic Requirements of Quality Control Resources Adequate Facilities Qualified Personnel Approved Written Procedures COA Certificates of Analysis Tasks Sampling Inspecting Testing Releasing or Rejecting Monitoring Objects Starting Materials Intermediates Bulk Finished Products Returned Products and Environmental Conditions QC Laboratory There should be a QC laboratory to each manufacturing unit. The laboratory shall be capable of performing all the tests in accordance to approved specification, or to perform part of test while subcontracting part of tests to approved contract laboratory. QC laboratories shall be separated from production areas especially for microbiology lab. QC Laboratory The laboratories should be designed to suit the operations to be carried out in them. Sufficient space should be given to avoid mix-up and cross-contamination. There should be adequate suitable space for sample and records. Separate rooms may be necessary to protect sensitive instruments from vibration, electrical interference, humidity etc. QC Laboratory Laboratory Environment Materials return from preparation slash wash area Clean area slash sterile area in laboratories Materials delivered to laboratories Decontamination Autoclave Glassware washers Sterilization autoclaves Responsibilities examines, approves, or rejects incoming materials, intermediates, bulk, the finished products, and returned products. Does the inspection during production, in process control, establishes, standardizes, and implements all QC procedures, and also establish the specification of each incoming materials. Establishes specification of intermediates, bulk, and finished goods together with head of production, Approves reprocessing instruction and rework instruction. Reviews production records to determine errors and ensures that investigations have been conducted and corrective action taken involves in all decisions concerned with the product quality.
other responsibilities. Establishing, verification, and implementing all QC procedures evaluating, maintaining, storing, and monitoring all reference standards and retained samples reviewing, batch documentation, maintaining correct specification of materials and finished products, stability testing of each finished product, participating in complaint investigations, environmental monitoring, GMP training. The role of QC in the pharmaceutical industry, there should be written procedure, on the receiving, internal labeling, quarantine and storage, of starting materials, packaging materials, and other materials as appropriate upon, receiving of the supplied goods, its identity, legibility of batch number, integrity of its primary packaging, and seal shall be verified, prior to acceptance. Certificate of analysis, shall be provided, by the supplier, accompanying the, receiving of starting materials, quarantine goods, shall be segregated, from release goods, reject goods shall be stored, in a defined area, with consideration of control access, e.g. locked area. Sampling. The sample taking shall be done in accordance with written procedure that describe the method of sampling, the sampling tools used, the amount of samples to be taken, the type and condition of the sample, container to be used, i.e. amber glass bottle, the identification of the container sampled special precaution for hazardous materials, the storage condition, if any, Instruction for cleaning and storage of sampling equipment Instruction for resealing the opened container Sampling process Sampling tools such as knives, pliers, saws, hammers, wrenches, implements to remove dust, preferably a vacuum cleaner containers due to be sampled, should be cleaned, prior to sampling, if necessary. There should be a written procedure, describing the sampling operation. This should include, health and safety, aspects of sampling. The container used to store, a sample should not interact with, the sampled material, nor allow contamination. It should also protect, the sample from light, air, moisture, etc., as required, by the storage directions, for the material sampled. Microbiology sampling tools, shall be sterilized, prior to use, a septic technique, shall be used, during sampling. Sampling tools, scoop for solid, spears for bag, Dip tube for liquid Weighted container for large tank Testing and analysis All tests shall be performed in accordance with the test methods as Stated in the specification Reduced testing rational shall be documented Test can be performed by in-house laboratory or external laboratory Where test is performed in-house, laboratory shall be available Did you know? Analytical quality control, commonly shortened to AQC refers to all those processes and procedures designed to ensure that the results of laboratory analysis are consistent, comparable, accurate, and within specified limits of precision. Laboratory data sheet. Laboratory data must be recorded in a manner that assures its accuracy, authenticity, and completeness preserves its integrity and assures its retrievability data recording should be clear, permanent, not pencil, and traceable to the item tested. Records, either handwritten or equipment slash computer generated, shall be reviewed, signed off, and dated. There should be, 
a written policy, about averaging of numbers, cross outs of mistakes, significant figures, leaving notebook pages, or fill in the blank, entries empty, etc. Retain sample. Retain sample should be representative of the batch of materials or products from which they are taken. Retain sample shall be of a size sufficient to permit at least two full re-examinations. Retain samples for each batch of finished products shall be retained at a defined period. Finished product should be kept in their final packaging and stored under the recommended condition e.g. consumer use condition at room temperature. A retained sample log shall be maintained with the sample identification, batch number and its storage location for ease of retrieval prior to disposal of retained sample visual inspection should be carried out. Control of starting material acceptance, all starting materials shall be verified prior to use. Verification should include the following. Review of certificate of analysis from the manufacturer versus approved specification. Other tests may be conducted as appropriate. Identification test slash package identification and other characteristic of the material shall be examined. Primary packaging, no leakage, sharp dents, tear, exposed parts and seal integrity, legible label and identification and batch number, frequency, every batch of manufacturer's batch. Laboratory reagent Reagent should be prepared, in accordance with written procedures. Volume trick solution, the last date of standardization, and the last current factor, should be indicated. The date of receipt of any reagents, should be indicated, on the container. Instruction for use, and storage should be followed. Where necessary, the identification test and slash or other testing of reagent, materials is required upon receipt or before use. Reagent to be certified by the original producer to the quality of reagent, grade purchased, typically a COA, certificate of analysis, shall be available for review and verification on acceptance. Laboratory safety manual shall be available for safe operation of the reagent and chemicals. Laboratory reagents. All reagents should bear a label containing the following information. The name of the reagent. Its strength or concentration. Its expiration date. Date of preparation. Name of the individual who prepared. Material safety data sheet, MSDS. Environment monitoring. Environment monitoring to be implemented, where appropriate. The objective, is to demonstrate, the manufacturing environment, is functioning at an adequate, level of microbial control, for the specific product slash product group. Sample site, selection based on. Room design, size slash manufacturing process slash product susceptibility slash potential, sampling site, shall include starting material, sampling room slash area slash dispensing area slash manufacturing area, microbiological lab. Environment monitoring. Alert and action limits should be established based on statistical methods. Sampling frequency shall be established, e.g. weekly. The media selection, for use of detection, 
and growth of viable, airborne particulate, shall be established. Direct and indirect methods available, most commonly used, are STA air sampler, SAS air sampler, and settling plate. Stability study. Stability test shall be carried out, where applicable. Real-time stability, shall extend, to the end of shelf life period, for any new products, and should include, the following parameters, number of batch, e.g., for different batch size. Relevant physical, chemical, microbiological test methods, acceptance criteria, description of the, container closure system, S. Testing intervals, time points. Description of the, condition of storage. Stability study. The number of batches, and frequency of testing, shall provide, a sufficient amount of data, to allow for trend analysis. Bracketing and matrixing, design may be applied, where applicable. Worst case situation, shall be covered, within the real time, stability program, after any significant change, or deviation to the process, or package, i.e. After rework, or reprocessing. A summary of data, should be generated, with interim conclusion, on the trend analysis. Result of stability studies, should be reviewed, by authorized persons. Did you know? The concept of quality control in manufacturing, was first advanced by, Walter Sheward, who was the first, to apply the newly discovered, statistical methods, to the problem of quality control. He issued a memorandum, on May 16, 1924, that featured a sketch of a modern, control chart art kept, improving, and working, on this scheme, and in 1931, he published, a book on statistical quality control. Economic control of quality, of manufactured product. Reference standard asterisk slash material. Reference standard, it shall be calibrated by, a body, that can provide traceability. Such reference standard, of measurement, held by the laboratory, shall be used, for calibration only. It shall be calibrated, before and after any adjustment. Reference materials, where possible, it shall be traceable, to S1 units of measurement, or to certified reference materials. Internal reference material, shall be checked, as far as is technically, and economically practical. Reference standard slash working standards, specification control, each specification, shall be approved, signed, and dated, and maintained, by QC unit. Quality specifications, the following specification, shall be minimally maintained, and controlled. Starting materials, specification. Process water, specification. Intermediate, or bulk product. Where applicable. Finished product, specification. Other laboratory documentation, other laboratory, documentation includes Sampling procedures calibration and maintenance equipment stability procedures Where applicable environment monitoring, where applicable testing procedures and records Including worksheets and slash or laboratory notebooks, analytical reports and slash or certificates Thanks. With regards. Open. Analytical Quality Assurance Manager. Or, Maria Wajme. Presentation, Sunani K. Lai, Opka Dani Awad, 